progress sweater. Now, what I have done since the last one on the screen, if you haven't watched the first part, so check it out that and then come back to me for part two. So what I have done. So quickly, so quickly, I'm knitting Virtual uh, Winter Soul, I think that's how you call it. Anyway, on the screen written down, Jennifer Steingas is the designer, beautiful pattern, amazing things, but obviously I want to make things difficult. So instead of following the pattern gauge or following a pattern yarn choice in regards to thickness, I just didn't do it. No, no. So basically I took a thicker yarn thicker yarn and I had to change the needles and that will mean that it, my gauge is completely different. And on the top of that I wanted to have more fun and uh, go even size higher than a fitted kind of garment. So yeah we had a bit of a frogging going on and that's what you have probably have seen. I was playing with the colour and I found out something that I quite like. I focused more um, on adding more yarn as you can see it's a little bit thicker thicker longer section and I tried to do a bit of a raglan decreases and maybe more decreases in the shoulder area so in case something has to be puffed it will be my shoulders yeah I know I should yeah I know I should probably pick a chest and then I grabbed and I continue knitting and I finish with the sleeves. The sleeves are not the way that I, that are in the pattern. And so I um, decreased it and I make a ribbing as you can see over here. And I did the same thing for another one. I love knitting sleeves because it's literally like a sock knitting. So if you knit it socks. <laughs> so in case you're wondering to knit any sweater from top down, yokes, or raglan. It is the same as if you would knit a hat, although there are some kind of increases going on because we're knitting top down and either it is like spread around in the round, that's a yoke sweater, but if it's if it's only in four points over, no eight points, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we have four points, but next to each point we have increased top down raglan. Raglan. I always say raglan. Maybe in Polish it's raglan. Raglan. I don't know. Anyway, so once you finish knitting a huge hat, you probably have done that, then you're just putting stitches on another needle. Obviously you had them on the hold and then you can do the body, but you know better to do uh, sleeves first the way the if you want to make if you want to make them a certain length because obviously you don't have to and then maybe you're focused more on, more on the body and you prefer to have yarn for the body and then see how much you're going to have left or with its sleeves, or you want to go all the way around. Well, anyway, I just like sock knitting, and this is kind of reminds me of that. I did not play with any decre decreases, so it's a straight one, and I just finished with them. Decreases and ribbing. Uh, but in the pattern, you may notice there's a beautiful kind of color work finish set. I'm in the stage that I use already, I would say, approximately 50 grams of this white thing and then this I'm not sure what kind of color you see let me know down below what color you see over here this is a navy color very dark navy color and then this one is a purple and I used already for sure almost two 400 grams of purple because I have that much left of the purple color and there is a question and help that I need because I have another 200 grams of this gorgeous yarn and I'm tempted to continue down as a switching this yoke sweater into a dress yoke dress <laughs> color work your dress <laughs> color work yoke dress i think that's how i should say is it right so so far so good i have that much and if i would want to i could probably start with the finish and the color work seriously i need a different area to <laughs> <clears throat> so like I said, I like to have oversized sweaters and I know, you don't have to tell me, sometimes it's not the best idea to take a bigger sizes, isn't it? I don't know. But uh, as I said, this is the first time for me doing a hybrid yoke sweater, which means that we're knitting from this section. So we cast on loads of stitches and then we decided to go up. So what I want up here, I knitted slightly longer ones. So hopefully after you know, um, washing and wearing for a while, this kind of gets a little bit more drapier. So you won't see anything over here, it'll be like nicely down. And then I have these in you know, a little puffy sleeves. 
but like I said, it has to a little bit, hopefully, shape itself. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm at the stage that for sure I could end it up with a nice color around. I'm not sure should I be doing or not. Probably another 200 grams of yarn would give me maybe the same size going down, so it won't be really a dress. So I'm not sure will that be enough for having something quite long because I'm tall, I'm 5'10", so I presume that will literally just cover my bum and that'll be it. <laughs> so I'm thinking that I think I might finish because I'm a little bit afraid that I would have to frog it then anyway. And second of all, if... Uh, and second of all, I could actually leave this and maybe knit something with it or add it to something else. I still have a white to go with, so that could be a contrast color for another sweater because it's a beautiful, beautiful purple. The only worry that I have in regards to the finishing of the sweater is that there is a color work and it requires this navy color and I don't have it anymore. So that's my update something that just popped into my head. As you can see, I'm moving forward with it. I love it so much. Jennifer, thank you so much for designing beautiful sweaters. And there's a not, <laughs> she has an amazing test knit now going on. I almost signed for it, but then I realized I don't have yarn to knit sweater in 22 stitches. I have only fingering weights here. So maybe next time. Right, so I hope the next video in regards to this sweater is going to be a finished object video. So yeah, let me know down below, have you knitted a hybrid yoke sweater? Oh yeah, and check the description down below, you'll see all the links. So yeah, till the next one, bye.